JD here with the Ohio Department of Transportation in the Office of CAD and Mapping Services. In this video, we're going to go over the new Sheet Manager app. Uh, this app has been rewritten as a MicroStation add in app um, and it has been fully integrated into ProjectWise. So, this video is going to demonstrate um, using it within ProjectWise, but do note that it works outside of ProjectWise as well. So, um, I already have a file open here, uh, just to save some time on the video. And what you're going to want to do is go to the ODOT workflow, or Ohio DOT workflow, and you're going to see there's a button uh, named OHDOT Sheet Manager. So clicking that is going to launch the, the app. And uh, do note that it can take several minutes to load this, um, just because I am crawling through the whole work set and finding all the sheets. And within ProjectWise, it could take even longer because I'm going to be copying out the sheets that I need to copy out in order to read them. Um, so real quick um, about kind of the requirements of how it finds the sheets. So um, it's going to get your work set that you're in, within. And then it's going to find any engineering folder that's you know at that root level of your work set. So in this project, I have two engineering folders. So I will search these two. It will not search through any other ones because all of your sheet files should be within your engineering folders. So after it finds engineering folders, it's going to then look through all of the folder structure within those. And what it's looking for is sheets folders. Okay, so it's only going to look at DGN files within a sheets folder. So you know, that's this sheet folder, this sheets folder. It won't be looking in the base maps. Um, so that's another requirement. It's got to be within the sheets. So it's got to be inside engineering. It's got to be within sheets. Okay, so now I found DGN. So the next step is to look inside those DGNs. And what it's going to look for is it's going to loop through the models within each DGN file. And it only will care about the sheet types uh, model or sheet model types. Okay, if it's anything other than a, sh a sheet model type, it's, just, it's not even going to look at it. Okay, so we're in the sheets folder. We're in a model, a sheet model type. And now the next requirement is, is there an ODOT sheet on that model? Okay, and so as long as there's only one, then it's a valid sheet and it gets added to the app. If there's none or there's multiples, then it will not get added. And it will show you. Um, so if I come over to the app, um, you see I have results here. So um, if I hit this little expander, it's going to show me um, the files that were, or models rather, that were omitted. Um, so it's saying that there was no sheet item type found in this file, in this model. So this model was omitted. And then the next line says there's more than one instance of a sheet found in this file, in this model. So that model was omitted. Um, so that might help you um, a little bit to know which models are being omitted. Um, so that expander, you can just you know expand and collapse. And when it's expanded, you have the ability to um, resize that that row there. Um, but only when it's expanded. When you collapse it, you know there's there's nothing to expand. Okay. So a little bit about this app, uh, just like all the other apps I've written, you have these three links here, the PDF doc, the link to this video, and then the about. So there's, there's you can get versioning and whatnot. Okay, so just kind of running through some sections of this app, you have the display of what works that yeah, it's using. So again, this is just from the configuration. You don't get to choose this or change it. It's all based off of what you're configured for when you opened uh, your MicroStation ORD product. Okay, so that's just there for reference. Your next is you have modes. Um, so I'll be going through each of these modes. So there's single file edit, there's a export to Excel and import to Excel. All right, so the old version, they had another mode. It was a multi-file edit mode. Um, I haven't added that in yet. I might do that in a, in a later version. But for now, this this is uh, what we have available. Okay, so now on to the main section, which is the list of all the sheets. So this is 
going to give you some relevant data so you know what sheet you're working with, okay? So for each row represents a sheet. A sheet is contained within a model which is contained in the file. Okay, so the first column is the engineering folder that that sheet exists in. The second column is the discipline folder. So that would be those folders directly inside the engineering folder. So if we go back to project wise, you know, there's drainage, geotech, you know, lighting, roadway, signals. Those are the discipline folders. So it is assumed that it's inside a sheets folder, so I don't show the sheets folder because it has to be in there part of the requirements. Um, so that w that with a file name should be enough to let you know where this file actually exists. Okay. Uh, do note that for structures, um, since they have you know divided up by structures, you know I do show what structure that came from, or what structure folder that came from. Okay, so there's a file name, and then you have the model name that this sheet exists in, and then I also uh, threw in uh, the sheet title and the, the sheet number um, for reference in this, this column. Okay, so this could get kind of long, so I added some filters. So the first one is just to filter off engineering folder, so for this example, you see we have two different engineering folders. So if I come in here and I just click one, um, it will filter out. So as you can see, there's no more of the, the 401. Um, and you could do the same for the other way. All just gives me everything. So there's my 401s are back. And the next option is by discipline. So if I only want to see, say, like drainage. Um, so that's showing me drainage across all of my engineering folders because I have engineering folders set to all, but if I only wanted to see the ones in, in you know, 401, then I only see those ones. So that's how the filters work, pretty simple. Um, so that's, so, so the next part is how do we update and manage our sheets? Um, so in single file mode, you simply click on a row and it's going to display those um, sheet properties. Um, so you can easily edit what you want. She maybe she titles demo designer meaning. Okay, so editing these values um, right now nothing is saved. If you closed it, nothing has changed. Okay, nothing changes until you hit update values. All right, so if I hit update values, it's going to go through and it's going to update the values on the sheet. And again, I can always look at my results um, for every time I do something. So I'm gonna, it's saying that I'm processing this model and it's gonna give me the list of things that it did. So it checked out the file. So be careful here, if it can't check out the file, then it'll tell you this, that it can't fail to check out and it has not been updated. Um, same thing with opening the file. If it fails to open it, it'll tell you that it failed to open and the properties won't be um, loading the model, same thing. If it fails to load, it's going to tell you. Okay. Updating the item type values. Again, if it fails, it's going to tell you. After it updates the model, it's going to try to save it. Um, if it fails to save the file, it'll tell you that it failed to save it. Um, and then file check in. If it failed to check it back in, it'll tell you. Now, if the file was already checked out by you, it will not check it back in because you already had it checked out, and then it gives you a little processing time at the bottom. Okay, um, so you always wanna look at your results to make sure that it was actually you know, processed successfully. Okay, um, and so if it doesn't get processed successfully, then this app won't update its values. So if I click off of it and click on it, you know, for me, it's gonna save what I had entered because it processed successfully, but like, so demo, if I change this, if I click off of it and reload it, that change did not get saved because I never actually, you know, updated the values themselves. Okay, um, so the other thing you can do is if you double click on a sheet, it will actually open that file and activate that model. 
Um, so again, in project wise, it's a little bit slower because I got to copy it out. And then here's telling me, hey, well, you had this file open, checked out. What do you want to do with it? I'll check it back in. So just regular project wise stuff. If you guys don't have project wise, just don't worry about that part. Um, and it looks like I got, uh, I'll clean this up before I release it, um, some overlapping of text, but it just says that I opened this file and I activated this model. Okay. All right, so now I'm in, I'm in that file. Okay. So let's take a look at, so there you can see it put the designer in and put demo in. So it did work. Cool. Yep. So next, uh, we have two different modes here. We have Excel uh, export to Excel. So this is going to be uh, so you can do bulk edits. Um, you can put it all out to Excel and make all your edits. Uh, so the cool thing here is it's only going to export what's displayed. So if you have a filter applied, it'll only export out what's in your filter. Um, so if you only wanted like your 400 engineering folder, you know, then you have that option. Um, you could just get all the structures or an individual structure. Um, so I'm gonna just hit export. And so now we're going to export the data to an Excel sheet and it's going to open it up. And so now, oh, looks like I have it set up my office. Anyways, um, so that's, that's awesome. So what, what it did is it just exported each model. So each model is its own line or each valid sheet is its own line. So it's gonna give you the file name and the model name. Um, so these two are very important. Without them, it won't know how to find the file and sheet um, when you go to import your updates. You can update your uh, title and comments properties for that file. And then here are all the tags, or they're no longer tags, they're item types now, um, that are across all of our different sheets. So this is very similar to the old version. And so um, if you see a NA with a gray background, that means that this given ODAT sheet, that item type doesn't, or that item type property doesn't exist. So there's no reason to fill it out. So you can do whatever you want. You can insert columns, you can reorder columns, you can filter, sort, form, place formulas in, do whatever you need to do your bulk edits um, to save your time. And when you're done, you're just gonna save it. Um, so again, this is only opened in memory. Um, so of course, since it's not licensed, <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna let me save it. So let me pause the video and license this. Okay, <laughs> now that my product has license, I can save it. And so I went ahead and I saved it into um, project wise. Um, so I just threw it in the roadway engineering data folder. Oh, actually I hate when that happens. Okay. So now let's show the last mode. So say I made a bunch of edits. Um, I'm going to now I need to import it back in. So it's important to note that this is nowhere like it's not linked to the model. It's an export. So it's just a straight export at the time. The values at that time is what's listed in the Excel file. So if you make changes in the DGN file itself after the export, it's not going to be shown in the Excel file. Um, and so then just be conscious of that. And so now once you make your edits in your Excel file, you go to import and now it's going to say update display data from Excel import. So this is another um, option you have. So it, even if your Excel file has, say, everything listed for that um, project or work set, if you turn your filters on to only update maybe drainage, then it doesn't matter what's listed. Only these files will get updated. Okay, so keep that in mind. So it's only what's displayed is what gets updated. Um, so. I just want to make that clear to everyone. So I'll hit update. Oh, I'm gonna, it's going to ask me, okay, where's your file at? Um, so I don't, let me go to my image data. And it's now going to go through and import that data. Okay, so 
Uh, the loading bar gets a little choppy. Uh, I will get that fixed up in the next version release, but for now it's it's still working. Um, so it's basically telling you what file it's processing uh, as it's going through that. And so um, once it's done, you'll get the results. So let me pause this. Okay, and once it's done, you'll see the results. And so you can look through the results like I, I always encourage you to do. Um, so it's gonna tell you that you select Excel file, file's already open, so I didn't need to open it. Um, you know, found the worksheet. So if you have more than one worksheet uh, on in your Excel file, it'll come up with no dialog and you can select which worksheet you want it to process. Um, but since mine only had one, there's no point in asking me. Um, so as long as there's something found in the worksheet, it's gonna validate that worksheet. Um, so right here, um, it says worksheet data validated. If it finds some unvalidated content, it will tell you. Um, so what I mean is, um, well, first of all, to be validated, you must have a file name and a model name column. Um, and the first row must be your header column. Um, so basically your data has to start at A1. Um, and then all these other columns, you don't technically need them. Um, but so if you didn't have them, then that that item type property just won't get updated. If you say you deleted this, it just wouldn't get updated. Then it would just kind of not see it. Um, and the same regards, if you have extra columns, like say you have some other columns over here, it won't stop it from processing. It'll just tell you in this results that you know this column was found to be invalid so it's going to skip over that data um, but since I didn't have any invalid columns I didn't get that in the results but um, it will just tell you that those columns were not you know processed basically yep and then the the processing is the same exact thing as the single file mode so it's kind of just looping through a single file edit or a single model edit um, so it's going to go through and tell you. So same thing, checked out, checked in. So same thing as earlier. I'm not going to go through it again. Um, so it's always good to look these over. Um, in a future update, I'm going to change this to uh, make the lines go red if something failed to easily point it out because it could get kind of hard to look through all that data, right? And then you know at the bottom it tells you, you know, how long it took. Okay. So that is the app. Um, I should note that when you're in the import or export, you notice that the properties uh, went away. Um, so that's just one last thing. Um, but hopefully you guys like it, hopefully it works. Um, if you guys uh, run into any problems with it, please feel free to contact me so we can uh, fix those issues. Um, but I'll see you in the next video.